Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today starting with ADSK. The stock is down more than 7%. Now as you can see it started with a very big gap down about to short, shorting now 4,000 shares. And uh, again same idea when the stock is starting with a big gap down in fact more than 3% it is expected to gap and go meaning continue in the direction of the gap. So I'm looking for a new low it's touching the lows right here I'm about it's about to break down just did and I'm getting ready for a partial any sign of a pullback I'm going to click the button and take my partial already up like $9,000 clicking the button took my partial right over here so that was a really lovely trade. Now the rest of my trades today starting with DLTR same idea stock is down 9% and uh, seems like it's failing to move higher so I'm about to short it. I'm going to short a bit more size 8,000 shares because this one is not as big as volatile as the ADSK. Now same idea with ANF this stock is down 11% again a big gap down as, as you can see the same idea fail to move higher clicking the button and short 8,000 shares. Now we can see both of them I'm going to fast forward it and uh, look at the way I just added added now another 4,000 shares in DLTR double the size in ANF so now I'm 16,000 short in ANF and 12,000 short in DLTR. The reason for that they just proved to me that they want to continue lower. They just broke down under the lows and at that point I decided I could add a little bit more. My risk was a bit a bit lower. So that's the first forward of what happened to ANF and DLTR. They just reached my target $9,000 uh, in ANF, $8,000 taking my partial in ANF right now, $8,000 in DLTR clicking that button and I've got my partial in both of them and I'm keeping small size for the continued move. Now what you've seen in my last uh, three trades is really just quite similar. Uh, all three started with a big gap down. When you have a big gap down you have a lot of fear and the fear drives the price lower but you start with the greed those who are doubling down on their losses those who think that they found uh, a stock that is uh, undervalued we call them bottom fishing and you know this, these people are likely to fail that's why it's likely to come down so you look for a proof that it is really in fact coming down and short it. Now before I move to the next trade if you like this video so far please give us a thumb up helps our channel and it helps more people like you learn a little bit more about day trading. Now let's take a look at my last trade today. Last trade right now right is up 27% look at this huge gap up it's only $7 stock I don't usually trade those about to click the button and uh, going long 12,000 shares right now I'm long. Now it has a huge volume today 31 million shares so although I don't usually trade small stocks under $10 this is clearly different. So my stop loss is around 30 cents my target is around 30 cents it just reached my target a little bit more and I'm taking my partial here at around three grand it was a nice trade and the same idea you earlier seen me trading gap and goes short now you've seen me trading a gap and go long it's the same idea stock gaps big way and then continues in the direction of the gap. Now shorts work a little bit better than long because greed is is, is not as strong as fear. Fear works better that's why I prefer shorts. So you see me trading three shorts one long but all of them worked out and here's the result. Just 25 minutes into the trading session and look at the result here over $27,000 I'm still riding some shares so it's probably going to be a little bit better than that. These are not typical results traders you need to understand that I'm a very experienced trader I'm trading for 21 years and most traders when they do start out they fail so please remember it's not as easy as it looks. I want to thank you for joining me and please give us a thumb up if you like this video and if you want to subscribe to our channel there's a button right here and you can also click on the notification bell so you will be upload you will be notified of my future uploads and there's plenty of links here below and if you want to discuss uh, the way I traded today or what are gap and goals and what you should do there's comments here and uh, let's have a discussion I'll answer each and every question you have. Thank you for watching see you in the next video.